Hey, thanks for joining us. Today we're going to do an in-depth overview of an FXR Racing Team Series winter riding outfit. This includes the jacket, a set of pants, a pair of Helium Series riding boots, gloves, a Torque Series helmet, as well as the base layers and socks. This gear is equipped with flotation assist technology and it'll keep you warm and dry in temperatures as low as minus 40 degrees Celsius. Good afternoon, sir. How are you today? Hey, not too bad. You need any help today? Any questions? Yeah, I'm actually got quite a few questions. I'm trying to find some new riding gear and I just don't really know what I'm looking at. It all looks good to me, but I was just hoping maybe you could give me a little bit more information on what I'm looking at besides colors. Well, this is the FXR Flotation Series. Uh, it's our team collection. Uh, basically, I guess in a nutshell, FXR does a cold scale of 1 to 10 one being coldest, 10 being warmest, and this one is a number nine, uh, which equates to like minus 40 with a t-shirt. So what's the flotation assist system do then? Well, the flotation assist system is a multi-layer membrane. So this is a cutout of our jacket. So you have your waterproof hydrax shell, your multi-layer wafer thin flotation membrane, your insulation and then your soft touch lining but basically this flotation membrane if you put this under a microscope is filled full of millions of air bubbles and basically that's what gives you your flotation but it's also windproof also so what all the new sleds now basically hand guards low windshields like what's here hanging on the wall if you're into that category of riding the higher the scale the number is what you're going to need to be protected. So if you've got friends that are out skipping water or something and for some reason they were to you know do something silly maybe and end up floating around is this going to help keep them buoyant? Uh, completely. Put one piece on you float like a cork, two pieces on you float like a seal so it's easier to get out of the water onto the ice. So, so just to clarify this isn't it's not like a life jacket. No. It's just going to help you stay it's, on it, top of the water. It's flotation help you get out. Assist. Yeah. Okay. And outside of flotation, it's an extremely warm, well ventilated product. I can go through all the features if you like. Yeah, sure. That would be good. So, our flotate. I, would you like to try one on? I'll go through the features. Yeah, I'm with not you. sure what size I am. Uh, uh, usually, you look to be about an XL. That's usually what I wear. You're yeah. very tall. Oh, great. So, I'll go through the features with you first. So, your waterproof, breathable Hydrax shell, uh, magnets down the front instead of Velcro, vents in the front, huge side body vents for ventilation, which you're going to need to use. They also, they're covered with uh, what we call a snow mesh, so it stops yep. the snow from getting inside your garment. Tons of storage space, pockets, seam sealed zippers, credit card sleeve pocket, oh, neat. license registration. Yes, officer. Uh, <laughs> every every rider needs yeah. it. Uh, storm lycra cuffs, fleece line collar, heavy duty zippers. But the beauty about this style of jacket is it actually has a removable moisture wicking oh, liner. Oh neat. So So if I'm if I it is a little warmer out. Yeah, it it, it just gives you uh, a little bit of flexibility. More, more riding options like uh, early season, like now, this way it's you know you got your milder days. Then when you get into the colder weather, you can zip your liner back in, and then springtime you can take your liner out and cool and dress up, dress down, basically. But uh, it has a ton of technology. Uh, the moisture wicking liner. It, this liner is actually perforated. So what it does, it works like a sponge, pulls the moisture away from your body and vents it through the jacket. And it's quite common that these are your drains on the bottom of your jacket. So if you're on a long ride, it's not, it's not uncommon that you'll see icicles coming off your garment. Oh, neat. So it's and venting out the it, it, so you're pulling your moisture. Yeah. You're working hard yeah, on that exactly. sled or on an ATV or yeah. something. And that's all, it's almost like your exhaust down there. You're, you're, yeah. It's pulling your exhaust out, cool. exactly. And it also works as a drain if you happen to get in the water. Why don't you try one of these on? Yeah, try it on. 
and you don't need no more than a single base layer. So pretend your t-shirt is a base layer, one okay. base layer, and you're golden. Oh. There you go. Oh wow, yeah, that, that fits nice. Just zip this back up for you. That's cool. And I got my vents here. Would that double as a pocket or should double I Double as a yeah, pocket okay. and a vent. Look, nothing to Sunglasses. Yeah, sunglasses, yeah. yeah. Wallet maybe. Wallet. Yeah. There I got my license and registration slot. Yeah, that's where you keep your credit card. Every sledder needs one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do, don't you? Yeah. Especially with the fuel cost. Yeah, now. yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it works out about a thousand bucks a kilometer. <laughs> <laughs> Most wives don't know that, by the way. We won't tell them. They won't, yeah. <laughs> That's a hidden Next secret. Next topic. That's a hidden secret. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this looks, uh, I mean. It fits you very well. It fits and you good. need a bit of space. It's and great see, in your arms. It has, arm does length. fit me well because I'm 6'4". Mm -hmm. I'm pretty like tall, so my big problem is I got long arms. So I find a lot of jackets. They slide up on me and in the winter that's bad, especially when you got your gloves on and yeah. stuff like that. These ones are definitely, even for me, now, they got some length to them. We also do make a tall version. But okay. Talls and shorts, but we actually only do them in the black collection. I okay. see you like the orange. Uh, I like uh, the flashy colors. Yeah, if you get ran over a nut, they're trying it. Well, this way they can tell, <laughs> they can see where I'm floating, right? <laughs> yeah, it feels really good. It doesn't, what I'm noticing though, from a jacket that's good to minus 40, by no means does this feel like it's bulky and no. thick. It's light. I feel like I got all the movement. Even like, it, it's a flotation jacket, so like you would know if, if, you weren't looking for that technology and you picked this jacket off the shelf, really, you wouldn't even know it's a flotation jacket unless you read the tag or... Well, or until you told me, yeah, yeah, it doesn't look like it's anything different, right? Yeah, it's not your old school dad's flotation jacket. And they come in a grandpa's. lot of color options, right? Yes. Yeah. I think we have like eight colorways. Cool. We do sizes double uh, X small right up to a 6XL in black. We also do uh, short, uh, short pants and short jackets for us uh, short people in large uh, XL, 2XL, 3XL, and 4XL. Neat. And then we also do tall versions in that same collection. And then in colors, we only do up to uh, 3XL in colors. So since I got you here, why don't you tell me about the pants that go along with this jacket? Okay. Uh, what's the deal with these pants here, Perry? Well, we do a lot of different style of fast pants at FXR. We got three different versions. We got a mid waist, uh, a low waist, a mid waist. Sorry, and I, got to, I got to undo this jacket. High waist. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's really warm. So our most comfortable pant is a mid waist, just underneath the breasts. It don't bulk you up, uh, but in the pant itself, you got pre-curved knees, expandable side gussets. So when you move, the jacket and pant actually flexes with your movements. Uh, 3M reflective on the back of the pants, plus a shortener here, so you can actually, for us real short people, you can shorten the tabs on the back of the pant. And then full leg zips, so easy in, easy out, rubberized boot gaiter down here to, to clamp over your yep. boots to seal everything in. And here's your moisture wicking thermal liner again, so again, it pulls the moisture away from your body and vents it out through the garment itself. Also. In the zipper itself, it has a two-way zipper here, so you can zip down, ventilate, oh. or get into so your pants for, nice yeah, yeah, yeah. Removable suspenders if you need to, and fleece line pockets here in the front. So let's... Uh, what size are you guessing? I would think you're probably a large in the pants. Okay. Also, on these pants, you're tall, so if we need to, we have a finished tacked up hem here that we can break the hem and oh, get okay. some extra length for you. Cool. So you guys have thought of everything. Uh, yeah, actually FXR has been making gear since 1996. So you got a few years. We got a few yeah. years of experience here. Yeah. And FXR, correct me if I'm wrong, is a Canadian company? FXR is a Canadian company out of Winnipeg, a? Manitoba. A. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic company. Uh, we're all enthusiasts. The owner has actually been in power sports his entire life. Uh, we're actually clothing engineers and everything is engineered from the ground up. It's just not a blank canvas with logos on it. it it's actually engineered. Right awesome. Up.
Now I'm guessing you probably offer something uh, in the boot line to go along with these uh, pants and jackets, right? What's your foot size? I'm a 14. 14? On top. Yeah. Put those on and I'm gonna go dig a pair of boots for you. Yes, sir. So guys, if you're looking for some awesome riding gear, make sure you check out Royal Distributing. They've got four great locations. You can find them at royaldistributing.com. Uh, the staff are really helpful. Perry and Leah are the FXR reps that look after this area. They're in and out of a lot of the stores. So make sure you uh, swing by in the Christmas season and you check this stuff out for yourself. It's like they said, it's engineered gear. It doesn't just look good, it fits right. And it's engineered to keep you warm and safe out on the trails. I think I need that credit card pocket right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like, the gear is not on the cheap side, but it's well built, warranties are phenomenal and a typical suit that's well taken care of can last you 10 plus years. Well, you know what the fact is, when we're dropping as much money as we drop on our sleds, on our ATVs, on our side-by-sides, then, I mean, this is part of the machine. Yeah, it is. I mean, what's more important than keeping yourself safe? This will literally save your life. It's like, where, it's like riding without a helmet, you know what I mean? Yeah. This is just part of your safety gear. So, for a boot, I picked out a uh, Elium Boa. These boots are absolutely stunning. Super lightweight, minus 60, an aggressive outsole, really tough. It's like a helmet for your foot. Uh, so recoiling the boa. There is no laces. <laughs> this is new school. Simply push in to tighten, pull out to release, and again, it's wow. a self recoiling boa. The boa cables and the dial have literally a lifetime warranty. Neat. You'll get lots of years out of these boots, and it's a riding boot only. You know so. what, I was expecting this to be a little bit heavier. Yeah, yeah, too. that's why we call them helium. Super lightweight. Cool. If I breathe in, is it gonna make my voice sound funny? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> now we do this boot in multi-colors. It comes up right to a size 15, uh, and when you put your boots on, most people's left foot is actually bigger than their right, so. The left is? Yeah, typically. Not always, but mostly. Oh, neat. Yeah. So, you want to zip up your pant leg. Okay. Oh wow, it's neat to Push see Push in on the dial. Around. And then tighten. I wish they had this for hockey skates when I was growing up. Mm. Yeah, they put these in, they even golf shoes now. Really? Yeah. Wow, you can go pretty tight with this. Yeah. And we also do a double boa, which has a dial on the side, but uh, mm -hmm. This one is more than sufficient. This keeps the boot gaiters rubberized so it won't it slide up. up. It won't slide up and down on you. That's actually really comfortable too. What are these boots rated for then? Minus 60. After that, it's called can Holy, Are you the guy testing these? <laughs> <laughs> it's an active rating. All of our ratings are active, so it's, but again, for snowmobiling, it is an active sport. So typically, if you get cold, you're not riding hard enough. Uh, okay. I don't have that problem very often. <laughs> I don't say. <laughs> There you go. Wow, those feel those feel really good. Actually, those pants fit you really well. They do. You got a good eye. And then they're also adjustable here, so. Oh yeah. Wings, no wings for the skinny people. Cool. Let's typically, get that jacket back on there. Typically, I'd recommend like for this style of boot or for any riding boot, you want a proper riding sock. Right. So basically, the, the the riding sock pulls the moisture away from your socks and and ventilates it through the boot and they're they're actually tall socks so they ride up yep. so the socks actually protect you from wear and tear on you. What should I be wearing under these pants? A base well, layer? Uh, basically... I found this for the gentleman. Yeah, this would look nice. This would probably be too hot but Holy basically cow. you'd, you'd, you'd want a merino wool base layer so a single wool base layer uh, and, and a bottom and a top. Would I wear this over a t-shirt or just on you myself? could You could wear that over a t-shirt Basically, if I was going to wear this, I'd be zipping my liner out. So you, you, 
It depends on the temperature that you're riding in. So if it's not too cold out, I could pretty much get away wearing this t-shirt and just slapping that jacket. Oh yeah, on. absolutely. That's Even what without the go liner. With <laughs> Let's put this guy aside for now. I like how everything matches too. You can, uh, you really feel like you're decked out. Do yeah. we offer a lot of the apparel like that in different We colors do a ton well? of lifestyle. Yeah. Most, most everything, actually everything we make at FXR is it matches one way or another in terms of color, functionality, and the process of the suits. Right down to even, you look at, like everything has a soft touch fleece line yeah. color. Even, even in your jacket, like, that's, yeah. that's, that's a lot of detail. It is good attention to detail for sure. And then you do up your storm band here. Keep that snow out. And that stops, yeah, snow and weather from going up your back. Well, I can feel my feet getting toasted. <laughs> right yeah. I love the fact that these are magnetic. Yeah, it eliminates Velcro. Yeah. Velcro pulls on suits and stuff, and it's fully adjustable here. My credit card's not in there, though. I think I'm going to need a range. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're going to need a big credit card. <laughs> Also, you have 3M reflective on the front, arms, and your back. So in the nighttime, when the lights hit here, you'll That's actually awesome. light up like a Christmas tree. Well, I feel like I look awesome right now. And I think I gained some riding skill just by wearing this. Oh, we got more. Thank you. some Merino base layers. Thanks. Helping me spend all that money I earned throughout the week. Hey, you're At least it's going to keep me warm and safe, right? You're going to be dry, and you're going to be buoyant. And I'll make it to work on Monday. It's like insurance <laughs> in your suit, you know? Yeah. It feels great. I think it looks great. What do you think? Oh, it looks beautiful. Yeah, and I look stunning. And orange, you're seeing it there. Yeah, I thought you'd like it. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's like, Leah made a good point. A lot of guys love black, but you know what? Is you get out in a snowstorm, this is what shows up. Yeah. Black don't. Yeah. No, and you know what? It, it's got color in it, but by no means, I, I'm a little more conservative sometimes, I find. I think a lot of guys aren't always 100% comfortable with all the flashy colors. There's enough in here that takes away from that bland black look, mm -hmm. but it's still not in your face overwhelming. Yeah, exactly. I like it, yeah. Just hits a highlight. Yeah, it's really nice, it's really yeah. nice. And in care and maintenance of the suit, our, our suits are really easy to maintain, simply cold water wash, yep. hang to dry. If you should go through the ice and uh, when you get out, you're gonna be a little chilly, but when you get out and you get to safe uh, quarters, you just hang your suit up to dry and that's it. Then it's ready to go again. Here's a, a pretty obvious question. How dry is this going to keep me? If it's slushy out there, if it's drizzling out maybe on a warmer day, um, is this fully waterproof gear? It's fully waterproof gear. Also, uh, all, of our, all of our outer garments that we make at FXR, they're actually treated with what's called a Hydrex spray oh, in, in the factory. So this is first stage waterproofing. It's a permanent water guard that actually makes water bead from your suit. So if, if wet snow comes down, rain, sleet, that's your first stage defense. So it, Getting it, off it, it repels, it yep. repels it right away. And then we have Hydrex, but we do three different stages of waterproofing at FXR. We have your permanent DWR uh, waterproofing, which mm -hmm. eventually will wear off and yep. that you'll have to retreat your suits, right. which we provide in a can. Yep. Then we have Hydrex and then we have Hydrex Pro. So it really depends on how it's much money yeah, our waterproof laminates. Yeah. But it, it, the higher you go on... Uh, what you're looking for out of your gear, yeah. because a lot of... Uh, I mean, you can't paint everyone with the same brush. No. Some guys are out there riding every day almost. Or if you work in the industry, yeah. Yeah, or, yeah, exactly. you know, and you're on the trails and you're guiding people, then you need to stay dry and comfortable. Yeah. If I'm just a weekend warrior and I'm out there every other or Saturday or just going out ditch banging yeah, here and there. Yeah. I know I'll be home in an hour. Yeah, exactly. Then, yeah, it's, it's a lot different, yeah. Well, I feel great. In this. But this is this is basically what oh, you would yeah. wear underneath your gear. So it's just a uh, thin, lightweight merino wool layer. So one base layer. This one actually has the balaclava built right in. Oh, so uh, yeah, it, it just, just works so seamlessly. So that hood's no longer just sticking out behind my helmet. I'm actually using that as my balaclava. Yeah, why don't you try it on? Okay. I like the thumb holes too because it keeps yeah, those it, sleeves from riding up. Yeah, exactly. So with your thumb, when you pull your jacket on, your sleeve is not going to come right up inside of your arm or your sleeve right of your jacket. Awesome. 
Never lose your ball, it's not that game. Yeah, exactly. Well, now I feel like I'm all yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. So now you just have to put your helmet on and I'm good to gloves go. and some gloves way and to a go. helmet, and I'm ready to rock. I got my own layer of insulation under there with all my hair. <laughs> it actually fits with all that hair you got. Got my shag. <laughs> so guys, uh, I feel like I'm ready to ride. Just got to get my lid on, get some gloves on. And Perry's gonna, you're gonna let me bore your sled, right? Yeah, no problem. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I thought maybe you need some hand protection to go with your matching suit. Well then, we got it all now. We do, head to toe. These will keep your paws really warm. They got 300 grams of insulate on the back of the hand, 250 around the thumb, and 200 on the palm. They're a nice long gauntlet. They're reflective and they match what you're wearing. They do, don't they? That's awesome. Yeah. And they've even got a little built-in squeegee. Yes. So you can uh, keep your uh, goggles nice, nice and, and clean. Clear. Yeah. And That's nice. awesome. Yeah. Well, guys, yeah. it's been a pleasure Imagine trying all this it. on. All I got to do, well, why not, right? Yeah, I don't think it's the right size, but what do you got there? This is uh, a large? an FXR Torque X. It's uh, an electric shield uh, with a Snowcross Peak integrated breath box. Uh, you can actually wear this with the goggles, but this is something that you would match up properly. That's awesome. Neat. Well, these guys got you looked after with everything. You got the helmet to match, the gloves to match, the full riding suit. You'll be looking like a pro in no time. I feel like a pro. You Thanks, look Gary. like a pro. You're very welcome. It's been a pleasure. Enjoy your I learned year. a lot. Thanks. So do I just walk out? Yeah, just like that. <laughs> you want to take the security tags off. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot. So yeah, Royal Distributing or RoyalDistributing.com. Check out one of those store locations. Get yourself some FXR gear. Royal Distributing. Here is Power Sports Media.